It's 20 past seven. Thank you so much for the pleasure of your company on this Tuesday night. My studio guest on Tuesday Showcase is model, actress, entrepreneur, Kajal Sugarman. Kajal, welcome uh, to Tuesday Showcase. Lovely to have you in studio tonight. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. And uh, we also, apart from it going nationwide, coast to coast on FM, we are live on lotusfm.co.za, channel 808 on DSTV. And tonight we're on Kajal's Instagram account because you are beaming us live for all over the world to see up Instagram so uh, I want to say hi to uh, your followers on Instagram who are tuned in this evening yes hi everybody so social media I mean it's a big thing right when I started in this industry in 1990 uh, I thought radio is the original social media uh, however technology has come in uh, in a big way and it's revolutionized the way we interact with people apart from friends and family you know you've got a massive fan base uh, so is it difficult you know keeping all of this together juggling your career making sure you're still prolific on social media knowing what to share, knowing what to keep private? Not really, um, because I am a very um, private person. So I am used to having uh, the attention for a while now. I mean, I've been in this industry for about eight years. So it's something that I'm used to, and I'm very careful in what I share and how I share. Well, it's an interesting story because uh, you did say you've been in the industry for eight years. You. Uh, you're really blasted into the public spotlight, uh, courtesy of, uh, uh, and uh, well, before AFHM was uh, Sutra, right? Yes. The face of Sutra. And we're going to talk about that. Uh, and then, you know, your career just blossomed and has continued to do remarkable things. It's seen you step off the pages, get onto the big screen. Uh, you also have uh, your own business. So it's been a remarkable story of Kajal Sugarman. We're going to find out the secret to your success as the show goes on. But uh, how did this entire thing start? Because you hail from Bayview and Chatsworth, right? Yes, I'm originally from Chatsworth, um, Bayview, as you've mentioned. And um, when you were growing up, did you ever fancy seeing yourself, you know, your name in lights, uh, on, on big screens, uh, international uh, you know, advertising campaigns for Abercrombie & Fitch and Guess and you know, many others? What did a little Kajal, uh, what, what did a little uh, Kajal Sugarman want to do when she was growing up in uh, Bayview? You know, I think every little girl's dream was to become a model, or become an actress. I mean, we watch these things on TV, we emulated these actors and actresses, and everyone would obviously be um, like fascinated with what come, what it comes with. You know, we, we think that actors and actresses have this perfect life, but it's not always the case. You know, unless you're really in it, then you understand what this industry really has in store for you. You had a bit of, you know, by your own admission, we were talking about this before you came on air and you, you didn't mind sharing this on the radio tonight. You, you've had some challenges growing up. Yes, I did. I was um, bullied in school and uh, I came from very humble beginnings. You know, being bullied in school, um, clearly that uh, has made, uh, that hurt you back, you know, back in the day. Now that you're an adult and when you can, you know, think back to your, your school days, uh, the nastiness that happened, there's a lesson in this, right? And uh, I'm sure, sadly, you won't be the last kid to be bullied at school. And it's probably happening today to others uh, who may be tuned in or people that mm -hmm. you know. Uh, what's, firstly, what advice do you have for parents of kids uh, who are being bullied at school? As you said, sadly, you know, I wouldn't have been the first and the last mm -hmm. to have been bullied. Uh, not everyone is as blessed as I have been to have broken out of that shell. But um, it really does affect you later on in life because you lose a lot of uh, confidence. But uh, to the parents, I would definitely say that it's not the thing. Uh, if you instill love and values into your child, and if you make it known from the very beginning that bringing others down and trying to dim somebody else's light won't make you shine any brighter, your kids already have the proper foundation to begin with. You know, I always begin, I always believe that it's not the thing. There's often a reason, you know, and I don't want to really focus on the person who's being bullied because they're already the victim. Mm. But uh, there's a reason that others will say, well, you know, let's bully person X or person Y, because they may see something that mm. they think, well, you know, um, I'm, I'm better or whatever the reason is. Mm. Uh, evaluating what you went through, mm. did you ever put your finger on it as to say, you know, but why me? I don't think that it's anything to do with the person that's being bullied. I think it's the person that is doing the bullying. I think when you are that insecure, you will try your best to feel secure. And not knowing what you are doing, you actually put others down in the process. Mm. So I don't think that it's something that they're aware that they are doing. 
but it does happen and it's very sad because you know parents often enough don't even know what their children are doing in school and what children that are being bullied are going through in school 